Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading September 9th to September 15th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the page of uh, wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome Capricorns, that is going to be the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Afterwards, what we do what, what we do have for you guys is going to be the Death card, that will be the positive aspect, and then the last one here is going to be the um, <clears throat> Chariot card, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right so i i'm laughing here because uh, the manager of the channel it's capricorn and um i could see i'm gonna have a really rough time having some ideas divulge there i'm gonna be faced with much of a um understanding let's say okay but nonetheless before we see how all this plays out uh, let's run the cards one more time so we do have the page of wands as a topic and as a theme of your week followed by the wheel of fortune which stands as a challenges that you need to overcome then it is the uh, death card which represents the uh, positive aspect and the last one that will be the chariot card which stands as a guidance all right, so the page of wands where well, we do have a person which is going to be the topic of your week for my manager probably I'm going to be the person all right but um, that will be a person who approaches you with that I would say crazy idea all right something that they just it will seem like they took it out of their ass all right it's it's something that will sound preposterous ridiculous the thing is, however, is that the page, uh, it's it's very uh, amused by, by, by what they are coming up with, all right? And uh, the page also kind of have that s optimistic view for the future. And the thing is that the idea with the, that comes from the page, it's, it's something that needs to be considered because right now um, that idea may look preposterous and ridiculous, but with future circumstances, that idea can actually become reality, all right? So it's very important, even though you may not be very into this idea, you may not be very thrilled into this idea to approach the page with conscious because the page although looks very detached and carefree outside it's extremely fragile from within so if that's your partner let's say and comes with this preposterous idea for your relationship or for your marriage you know and you say are you crazy you know this uh, uh this statement uh, are you crazy is going to be uh is going to hurt them all right so you may kind of say well it it, it looks 
it looks good, you know, it sounds well, but I don't think that right now is the time for it. That is the right way how you approach the page or how you deal with the page. It's kind of like because they are very touchy throughout this week for a word. Just one second, because my manager is texting me. We're talking about the wolf and the wolf comes into the uh, in the village here. So the next one is going to be, wow, look at that. We do have the Ace of Wands. Definitely it's a gaining full thing, guys. Whatever idea the page comes around with, it's a, a gaining full enterprise. There is a lot of work to be done so that enterprise can become lucrative or can become that exciting, all right? But it is a definitely a, a new field for you to explore. It's a definitely a, a new uh, direction that you both can go toward, all right? For me, it could be uh, the new thing for the business that I'm going to propose and she will say, oh, well, are you crazy? You know, are you, are, you are out of your mind. Are you serious here? But ultimately, with a new circumstances that could appear into the future, that could prove itself very, very lucrative, all right? Who knows? But the thing is that you should, you, sh you should take it with a grain of salt, all right? But in the same time, you need to keep it in your mind what the page is coming for you to propose. And the very least, you know, consider the idea, even if, if, you, even if not with the page moving on forward into the future, you alone can incorporate it into your... Um, into your life. The next one is going to be the challenges that you need to overcome and it is the belief. The belief that this idea actually can yield results. Now the Wheel of Fortune represents itself here as the luck of the draw, you know, the circumstances that provoke this once in a lifetime impending change that gives everybody what they need, okay? And for you it's going to be difficult to actually I allow yourself that, that thing can manifest okay so your partner into your relationship comes around with this idea let's reallocate okay let's leave united states for example and go live in europe are you crazy it is what you are gonna say we do have jobs here our kids are going into school and etc etc but uh, this card here points that this idea in the long run is gonna be far better you know it's gonna give you a, a far better um advance into career or relationship as the situation that you are finding yourself right now. And it's very important here to acknowledge Capricorn. I'm not saying that you got to throw yourself straight away into it. Is just do not deny it straight away. All right. Just consider it for the future. That's very important. The accompanied card here is going to be the seven of wands and we are seeing your resistance. It's just like, uh, it's uh, you You ain't gonna wanna hear about it. That's that's the thing here. But with the seven of wands, the seven of wands also points that there is time and place where one can act. So it's another hint that for the far future, this proposal, this idea of the page, this goal that the page approaches you with, actually can manifest and it will be extremely enterprising or lucrative, gaining full and you name it. It is just the whole point here is to be open minded. OK, just allow it to um, at least allow to try it out further into the future. It doesn't have to be right now. It's like, for example, your your child approaches you, mommy, I want, or daddy, I want PlayStation. Okay? And you say, are you crazy? You do have home uh, homework to do. You do have school. You do have a lot of chores to do. But what parents doesn't recognize is that this is how I learned English, right? This is how I uh, start thinking about it. It's, it's very, I mean, games are very productive if capitalized on correctly. It's, it's just my opinion because I am what I am because of the games that I played for the majority of my life. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, the next one is going to be the positive aspect and that will be the death card. So <clears throat> that is a very conditional card in this case. It only takes place if you keep on that idea of the page in your mind, all right, and you don't deny it straight away. Then the death card here points that based on this idea, things are going to start changing. A lot of things are going to start fixing the, fixing themselves. A lot of things are going to start taking different shape. One door closes, another door is open. There are going to be many purges as well into your environment. Things that aren't working out any longer, these 
outdated concepts are going to be uh, replaced with this with the concepts that this new idea are giving you okay and before you know it slowly but steadily you know your business or your relationship or your friendship or whatever is going to uh, is going to change in a such a way that we will be refreshed we will be re-nurtured it will have more things for you to look forward to into because right now for what it seems it's just like placed on health and it's going nowhere the accompanied card here is going to be the devil the formation it is a uh, passive friends that we do have so with the devil card definitely you can yield or you can go for what you want here the devil gives you the power guys to feed the yearnings of your soul you want to be rich well with this idea you can be rich okay you want to be loved well following this idea you can be loved Okay, uh, you want to have authority, you want to have power. Well, with this idea, you can have power. The thing is that, uh, once again, it's going to take a lot of time to develop. It's not something that you can do right now. The death, it's a slowly developing card in this case. Slowly but steadily, slowly but surely, um, the, the circumstances are going to change in such a way that you are to have the means necessary in order to gain your power, to gain your love, to gain your wealth, and etc. etc. The final card here it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. That is going to be the chariot. So the chariot here points for the look of the hard work. Okay. And also points about the triumph against all odds, which is exactly what the idea is. Ridiculous, preposterous. Right now, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. So it is against all odds. But the chariot here as a guidance points that you can triumph in it. You can make it something such so strong and, and so successful, you know, that it will appear as, a, as the look of your hard work. It will make your wish fulfilled and it will engrave your own signature. In another word, Words. when you look back and you see you know how well you performed and where you are right now you are going to be very proud with yourself the accompanied card here is going to be the higher uh, the hierophant card the formation it is a active um, a passive excuse me passive friends so with the hierophant card of uh, the the motion we're talking here about the motion the very drive of it shouldn't be uh money it shouldn't be love although that will be the end result okay of whatever you are doing it should be for the sake of doing it it's, it's very difficult to explain it but if it does refer to relationship then what you should do should be uh driven by the sense of trust by the sense of reliability you know by the sense of necessity should be about career well it should be your driving force should be because you like what you do because you like what you're experienced because this thing allows you to expand on your skills the money are gonna find you later it's not different than when i uh, when i watched that interview with a very successful bulgarian actor he is um taking roles in many Hollywood uh, movies, you know, and what he said is that because they asked him, is it lucrative to be actor? And he said, well, I don't know. I mean, um, he said that to be actor, it's a diagnose. You do it not because of the money, but be, but you do it because this is your life. This this is something that you cannot live without. The money are find you on their own accord. The money comes later. They You, you don't concern yourself with them. They just comes around. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading for a September 9th to September 15th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.